Hey Game Makers, it's Intoxicatious, and I'm coming to you with another episode of Game Maker Studio Previews, the show where you can't tell whether or not I'm wearing any pants. Uh, I was on the IndieDB, that's the IndieDatabase.com, and uh, searching around for Game Maker Studio games, and I stumbled upon this game called Diagnosis. And I piqued my interest, because uh, it's a medical game. You don't really get a lot of uh, educational type medical games. It's not action-oriented, you know, it's... it's. Oh, I've been having cola. It's just diagnosing patients. And it's on its way. It's only an alpha, so of course it's going to be uh, very... Um, sparse, I guess, in its features, because it's, it's on its way. But I think it's, I think it's a good start, and I think... Uh, you might think so too, and you know you can help them out. Uh, the uh, Synaptico games, I couldn't find them on social media. Uh, they have a Gmail account, <laughs> but that's about it. So I'm just scrolling through the IndieDB page, and I've been talking for more than a minute now. So uh, let me just hop into the game, and I'll show you why I think it's actually deserving of uh, a preview. Okay, so this is Diagnosis. Um, you, it, like I said, like the features being sparse, the uh, art in alpha, the art can be placeholder and whatnot, um, but it's just a clipboard on a gray background, and we'll start a new game here. Um, there's no flashing cursor here to denote that you're writing in your name, but you are, so it says, uh, what's the, what's you name, doctor? What's your? Uh, so if you're watching Synaptical Games, change that to your, and you're good to go. Uh, what's your name, doctor? My last name is going to be Dr. K. Like I'm going to tell you my real last name, as if you couldn't just Google search it. <laughs> anyway, I'm Dr. K. I'm going to continue. So, this is the the basic uh, screen of the game. This is what you get. Uh, all your different tabs on your chart. The pencil does nothing, much like the goggles. This is your doctor's uh, index of symptoms and problems and, and whatnot. So, like appendicitis, which is inflammation of the appendix, and it goes on to describe it, says some common symptoms, and if you do tests, you get some expected test results, what should happen. And you can go through and you'll read each of the uh, issues that come up in the alpha version of the game. So you use that to switch between this book and the clipboard. Now, because as my career, Dr. K, I'm just pre-med, and it has the diagnosis I've done correct, diagnoses, I should say, and the misdiagnoses that I've done. And then I have a reputation meter that I don't I don't really know. Last time I played, I didn't see it really moving or whatever, but we'll see this time. Um, and you're not allowed to do tests, see, because I'm, I'm just, I'm not that experienced yet. So I can't order tests. Uh, I can't question the patient. I'm just allowed to read the file right now and give my opinion to kind of level up and, and learn the game. So this patient, if I go back... Cool that there's a, an admission time. Actually, that's the uh, time on my computer right now, so that's cool that I read that. So this is Dennis Howard. He's age 14, and he's a male. And his symptoms are abdom abdominal pain and fever. So I can go to diagnose this, and I've got three options. I can either say that it's appendicitis, asthma, or colorectal cancer. So if I look at my book, I can see what you know some of the symptoms are. So, you know, is it appendicitis? Well, that's abdominal pain, nausea and vomiting, and fever. You know, we can go to the rest. It's probably not asthma, because that's, you know, obviously a chest problem with the lungs. And colorectal cancer uh, is more uh, the late part of the digestive system, colon and rectum. So it's colorectal cancer, uh, rectal bleeding, paler. We have abdominal pain, fatigue, and blah, 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 blah. The rest, you know, you got it. So, abdominal pain and fever. Uh, I'm going to say that that was appendicitis, because that seems like appendicitis. And there we go. Good job. That was the right diagnosis. Now, you do this for I don't know how many patients uh, before it adds the rest, the bevy, the meat of the game. Um, so this is just kind of like a tutorial in a sense. So let's just go through this really quickly. Most of this will not matter at the beginning because, you know, nothing's complex. So we got chest tightening and uh, dyspnea, uh, dyspnea, which is uh, air hunger, which is a terrible thing to have. Um... So that's obviously asthma. Good job. Fever, nausea, and vomiting. Uh, I don't remember. Does appendicitis have nausea and vomiting? It does. Let's diagnose this as appendicitis. Good job. Uh, Wanda Green's got tachy tachnipia. Tachypia? I have no idea what that is, actually. I know a little bit about medicine, but... Uh, something to do with your lungs. So let's diagnose her with asthma. 
Uh, abdominal pain, nausea, and vomiting. Uh, we'll diagnose that with appendicitis. Good job. I'll show you what happens when you get one wrong. So let's say wheezing. Okay, obviously that's going to be asthma. Well, let's say that's colorectal cancer for some reason, as if you breathe out of your ass. Um, so wrong. And it tells you the right diagnosis, which is asthma, and you can just continue. So if I look at my career now, I've got five correct diagnoses and one misdiagnosis. Um, and then I continue like this. So, once again, uh, I'm going to cut ahead now to when it adds the rest. So let me just play through it. So I'll cut. Okay, so I just cut ahead, you know, because you've seen enough of that. Um, so I've gone through, I think there looks like I need 15 correct diagnoses before I can uh, move on to the next stage. Uh, so now I'm not pre-med, now I'm a med student. And uh, I guess my reputation meter is moving, I can't really tell. Maybe it's not really functioning fully in the alpha. So now with my patients, here's the cool part. Um, she's got bleeding and fatigue. She's 80, first of all. So uh, we're really gonna have to run some tests. So now we've got, other than appendicitis, asthma, and colorectal cancer, the game has added the common cold, Crohn's disease, and diabetes um, mellitus. There are more, if you remember in the book, right? There's going to be like leukemia and cirrhosis and GERD. So, you know, there's another level after this. <clears throat> but anyway, here's why I want to show you this stage. Because now we've introduced questioning and tests. So she's got bleeding and fatigue. Now I could spend some time going through here and trying to figure out what's going on. But hey, I'm a doctor. Best to just question her first. Alright, tell me how long this has been going on. So for two months... That's ridiculous. I don't know why she didn't come see me sooner. <laughs> You're having problems for two months. Uh, she has cancer in the family. Uh, other than... No drugs seems just moderate alcohol use. Which is actually amazing for an 80-year-old to not have any medication whatsoever. Unless this is recreational drugs. And her physical condition is normal. Okay, so... Uh, I would say if she's got... And th this is cool. I love that it's got the handwriting. Kudos, Synaptico, for that handwriting font right there. That's cool. Um, so all that information is going to be listed here. Now I can run some tests. So she's got fatigue and bleeding. I kind of want to test her blood. Elevated white blood cell count. Okay, that's a problem. <clears throat> so, what would give us that? What would have her, of the six things we know, it's probably something new. Uh, who? what's got fatigue and bleeding? I don't, I don't know. There's a lot of rectal, well obviously Crohn's disease got rectal bleeding. This is diabetes. I don't know where she would get bleeding out of this. But we're looking at high... Okay, maybe she's talking about rectal bleeding? But there's no fatigue with Crohn's. Alright, let's let's uh, let's do a urine test. No anomalies in the urine. Uh, I don't know if there's a penalty to keep testing people. You know, let's do an ultrasound. Oh, she has an inflamed appendix! Done. Okay. I think I figured out you got appendicitis. No! She has leukemia! I totally got housed. Was that was that the house joke about everything was leukemia? Is it leukemia? Or is it No, it was probably something else. I don't watch that show. Everyone's gonna make fun of me now, and this is on the internet forever. Okay, well, uh, I failed. <laughs> At least that diagnosis. And then it keeps going. So, you need a certain number of correct diagnoses before you move on to, you know, level up, I guess you could say. So that's kind of it. There's, there's you know, the next three uh, issues that that person could have. Although, I wasn't allowed to diagnose her with leukemia, and she had leukemia. That's kind of unfair. You should probably look into that, guys. That I wouldn't have even... I couldn't even... Alright, I guess because I'm, I'm a med student. Anyway... Going on for too long. Game is Diagnosis. I've got the link to the IndieDB page if you want to check out the alpha and kind of track it on its progress. Uh, Synapt Synaptico Games, if you're watching. Uh, yeah, keep up the good work. This is this is really cool. I'd like to see where you can go with this. I'd like to see, like... Uh, I, I imagine this is placeholder. I'd like to see some spiffier graphics, you know? This is uh, good for placeholder, but maybe if you can spruce it up a bit. But I like this idea, and, you know, it's got the whole chatter of a, of a hospital going on. Which I hope, if you're releasing this game, that that's, that's royalty-free. That you're not stealing. As always, don't just take stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, and this is really good. So I hope that this uh, inspires you to make your own game. Or you see, saw something you like that you're going to put into your current game you guys are making. Or whatever, right? So uh, with that, I'll just sign out with Don't Stop Making Games.